The local organizing committee for Creative 2013 uh, would like to provide an update to the public um, as far as our preparations are concerned. With the games only um, five to six weeks away, you know, we're happy to confirm that pretty much everything is in place. We like to inform the public about our ticketing process. Uh, many of you have uh, already started purchasing your tickets online. The tickets can be purchased through our website, which is www.careerfter2013.com. Uh, if, in fact, you go online and want to purchase tickets, you'll have to pay for them by credit card. Otherwise, the ticket boxes will be open on the 28th of February. Um, we encourage you to purchase your tickets right away because uh, tickets have been, have been sold abroad and they're going fast. We have uh, arrangements through the Curriculum Secretariat to, uh, for you to call in and you can reserve your seats. Uh, we have preferred seating. The, those who, uh, the, the quicker you book, the, the best seats you get. Um, there's been a great demand for the finish line seats uh, or the whole 100 meter strip. But there are uh, 30,000 seats available, but you know, the preferred seating goes to first come, first serve. But we will have our ticket sales uh, set up at the um, at the stadium as of the 28th of February, and after that we will open additional additional um, ticket ticket centers. Um, another item we'd like to highlight is security. We've met with the Royal Bahamas Police Force, and we're happy to confirm that we have as many as 500 police officers assigned to Carifta. This will ensure the safety and security of our spectators and athletes and everybody involved with the games. In addition to the 500 athletes, 500 police assigned, we have 180 security officers. So we are, are, are confident that security will be in place. Um, we'd like to also draw your attention to the parking arrangements. There is limited parking facilities, so we on the days of, of the competition, we, arrange, we uh, encourage everybody to come early because, you know, we have, I think, 3,000 parking spaces for a capacity of 30,000 people. So naturally, it'll be, again, first come, first serve basis. On the matter of the opening ceremony, we confirm that that is already planned. The producer of the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony is Mr. Fred Ferguson, um, so this is in good hands. We intend to highlight our Bahamian culture. We intend to focus on our, the talents of our, our young people. Naturally, there will be Junkanoo marching bands and our top performers uh, for the opening ceremony. So, you know, we encourage everybody to, uh, to be, uh, you know, attending that. The opening ceremony is scheduled for the 29th of March and then our competition begins the 30th, 31st, and the 1st of April. That's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The opening and closing ceremonies uh, are intended to be spectacular, as usual, and um, we encourage everybody to you know, be there for that. Uh, much concern has been about the readiness of the stadium and we continue to emphasize and to let the public know that the stadium is ready. It is uh, certified by the International Athletic uh, Association. So any records being broken, and we intend to see much of that, it will be ratified by the IAAF. Okay. The state of the Stadium was certified last week. Um, we've tried to minimize the concerns about this stadium because there's been a, lo a lot of public concern about that. But um, the National Sports Authority have been working diligently to ensure that the stadium is ready. The cosmetic uh, part of the stadium, the, the appearances, you know, everything, everything is ready. And those of you who pass by the stadium, you will note that it, the 
it's looking a lot better than it did a few months ago, but we certainly uh, are proud of the work that's been done by National Sports Authority so far. We had um, some inspectors from the uh, Caribbean Federation responsible for Carifta uh, last weekend to do an inspection of the stadium, and they confirmed that the stadium is uh, the best they've seen in the region. So, you know. So what level? Yeah, the certification of the track right now is at level two, and this is all. This is what is required for the Carifta competitions. You are aware that in 2014 and 2015, the Bahamas will host the first World Relay Championships. At that time, the track will be required to be certified for level one, and immediately after Carifta, plans are in place to um, um, develop the track to, to, for that level of certification. But for CARIFTA, a level two certification is required, and we have met that certification requirement. So far, how many tickets have you sold? You alluded to those that being overseas. What is the cost? I mean, not the cost, the price We have sold uh, online about 2,000 tickets so far, and all of these tickets have been for the entire uh, competition. The tickets are uh, currently at $5, $10, $15, and $20. You'll get a $5 discount if you purchase for the three days of competition. So um, if, you, if you purchase $20 tickets for the three days, you will get that for $55 and so on. We want to ensure that the stadium is full, therefore we reduce the, the prices to an affordable level. What about the behavior Well. The, the, um, the behemoths are, are not inclined to purchase online because of the use of their, their credit cards, but um, we haven't had, we, we, we've had uh, probably about um, 2,000 um, reservations made so far by the Bahamian public for, for tickets. But um, once the tickets become available on the 28th of February, we anticipate that there'll be a, a strong um, demand. So this is the only outlet? Um, the first outlet is at the stadium box office, but um, we, uh, we will probably have about seven other stations around the island, but that's yet to be determined. Because, most of, because the ticketing system is electronic, every, every box office that we have will require equipment set up to, to process that. That's why we'll be limiting the box offices to about seven in addition to the stadium box office. Uh, I, 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 just, um, I just wanted to focus on the ticketing today. People know where I said because the, the questions have been many. And then, of course, the stadium. Um, I know the, the question of the stadium will continue to come up because people were suggesting that, you know, it wasn't going to be ready. It's totally ready. It's totally ready. And that, that's okay. But we have had from the 15th, no, from the 5th of January, there's been a meet in this stadium every day. Every day. And we've had the Star Trackers, we had the Club Monica, and there's been a perfect trial for all our electronic stuff. And you know, Trevor Moss is the media director, and everything is in place, man. Everything, everything is working. Um, for, for every piece of equipment we have, there's a double backup. For everything, there's a double backup. And, you know, and then we have a big, big, big this Saturday, and then after that is, is the, is the um, High schools, then we have the, and then we have the um, trials. So trials and all of these. Huh? That's what they're saying. They said they need a couple of days to do what they have. To yeah. Do. Then there'll be a week, over ten days before, and then whatever else happening will be over there. But everything is being tested. Everything is being tested. Media room, really? um, and, uh, they will be ready. Um, that's, that's, that's the new way things right now. Yeah, but the, the, com the computers have been uh, um, secured uh, and everything has been secured. They haven't been installed as yet. You doubt, Mr. Christie? No, I no. never doubted him. Oh, Well, that, that, see, that, 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 that's it. I mean, true. And, and thank, 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 you very, thank you very much.